Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for what message do you need to hear right now? I'm so excited because I have a guest speaker today who's also going to be reading the cards to you. And the guest speaker is, drum roll, my husband John. Yay, thank you so much guys. I had a contest the other day to see how many of you guys would be interested in hearing readings from him. And it turns out a lot of you guys are interested and so I would love to introduce him today. He will eventually be starting his own channel, doing readings and also rune readings. If you need, any of you guys are interested in rune readings, he does those. But for now, he's just gonna be helping me out a little bit here and there, getting used to um, the flow here on YouTube. And I just wanted to say thank you once again for all of your encouragement. He's so excited. And um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna pick a number, number one or number two. That way you can get a message that's more specific for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and relay the message to you first, and then I'll hand the cards over to John and he's gonna also speak on the same cards. So if you chose number two, head to the description below to fast forward. But if you chose number one, I've got your cards right here. So if you chose number one, what I'm seeing for you is that you have been really frustrated because you have been getting a lot of messages to be patient. Maybe you've even been doing my pick a card readings lately and a lot of the messages are coming out redundant to tell you to be patient, to be ba patient. And I'm seeing that the reason why patience is so hard for you <laughs> is because you're really in need of clearance. The whole reason why things aren't moving forward as fast as you would like is because you're supposed to be here in this time of like rest and introspection for a reason. You're supposed to be relaxing, you're supposed to be doing some healing, you're supposed to be letting go of some of that subconscious baggage, all those thoughts that are telling you that you're not worthy, that you're not gonna make the cut, all those thoughts, you gotta just let go of them. So this image here represents you just leaving old things behind in 2017 and just burning it down and moving forward because there's something inside of you that wants to be expressed. But for some reason, you can't move forward to that until you finish your clearance. They're saying you have to be patient because there's things that you want in your life. You have these big dreams, these big hopes, but you're having blockages because you still, it's just not time yet. You still need to do a little bit of clearance. So they're saying you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. This doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be like a tarot reader or a Reiki healer or something like that, or like a, a preacher or something. But I do see you being very creative, you know, finding different creative ways to express yourself. I see you ultimately helping and healing and guiding others. But right now, the wound is your teacher. So everything that's happening in your life right now, this is like your training ground. This is, this is where you're learning how to take this to the next level. So ultimately right now, you are basically, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. There's worries, there's fears, you wanna move forward, but they're telling you it's time for healing. So I definitely suggest some chakra balancing. And you guys know me, I'm ADHD, I'm Aquarius, I'm high energy. It's extremely difficult sometimes for me to meditate, but um, it really helps. Just five minutes a day, clearing your chakras and reminding yourself that you're worthy, that you're safe, that you're here for a reason, that you're exactly where you're supposed to be and just be open and be present for every day and what it has to lead you and, and has to bring to you instead of being impatient. So I'm gonna hang, hand the cards over to John and he's gonna go ahead and elaborate on this message and kind of help you look at these cards in a different way. Hello, okay, so I like what you said for these uh, three cards together. I feel like um, the only thing I felt drawn to mention that would be extra would be um, this clearance card. I feel like for, for me, when I think of clearance, it's about making room. And if you think about it, like when you're driving your car around and you see like those freeway overpasses or whatever, like you can see it says like it's this tall and like your car has to be small enough to fit underneath it, you know? So like for me, I feel like clearance is about you being able to pass through something in your life, but you have to be able to make room so that you're, you don't have a, 
attachments that are keeping you from making it through all of this. Um, if you can see here, it's a bow here. And this bow is old and it's withering and falling apart and it's being destrung. And they've got new pieces of wood here to make more bows, you know what I mean? So sometimes you gotta let go of stuff, old things, things that don't serve the purpose anymore. And you, you know, you renew them or you make them new in a different way and you, you're able to move on. Um, for these, I feel like this is um, a message from me about um, how remaining open to how exactly you can have an impact on each other. On each other, um, I feel like spiritual teaching is very, very broad. Like there's so many different ways of spiritual teaching. Um, keep open to what that really means. If you feel like what you do doesn't really qualify, take a deeper look. Be sure that. Um, you're not just, you know, kind of faking yourself out, feeling like lack of confidence. This is, uh, this is a pretty good time right now to be able to do um, good teaching to other people, showing examples, showing a way of life. Um, maybe just uh, consider options you haven't considered before. If you feel like you're running out of ideas, it's time to try something new. And I feel like this is also, again, about setting... Um, aside space for the kinds of things you want to happen. You want to make room and, and do all of that. I think that's it for this one now. Wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and move on to if you chose number two, but those messages were so beautiful. I'm so thankful that you helped me. And we've got some friends in the background you guys might hear, but we're going to continue on with number two. So we're gonna go ahead and look at these cards. This is so interesting. I'm seeing the past life card and I haven't seen the past life card in a while, but I'm seeing it next to the challenge card and I know exactly what that means. It means for some reason your past has been holding you back. The past tends to do that, doesn't it guys? Look, as someone who's been overcoming PTSD and anxiety related to my past, I'm telling you, when you carry the past forward into the present, it can really create a lot of destruction in your life. And so they're saying you need to be real with yourself and realize that a lot of these fears you have are actually rooted in the past. There's a lot of love here for you in the present. The universe really wants to open doors for you right now, but um, you're having this challenge. And I'm seeing something with your home situation. Um, you're wanting a better home situation. You're wanting a better life for yourself. And they're saying, be open because the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. And um, they want you to be happy. This is a really beautiful message. A lot of positivity, a lot of encouragement coming through. They're telling you the key to moving forward right now is to try to let go of the past. And I know that sounds so vague, just let go. How can you let go when you're having nightmares, when you're having these memories pop into your head, right? When um, there's people and places and things that remind you of the past when something happens and it triggers you but they're saying you've got to find your center you've got to come back to peace you've got to realize that you were born in love and fear is just something you've learned here truly there's nothing to fear in your present you just you have to move on they're telling you prosperity and happiness are on offer for you so i'm loving this message and i'm really anxious to see what john is going to have to say about these cards so I'm going to pass the cards over to him. Thank you. Um, for me, I feel like you touched on most of the good notes here. I don't have that much to say. I feel like this is um, this just stuck out to me as something that like um, is maybe. Um, Presenting as a sometimes, sometimes I think this is what it's saying. It's saying sometimes we can be blind uh, to what a challenge is actually trying to do for us, like how exactly it's trying to improve us and make us better and make us grow. Like if you look at the two um, hairs here, they're 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 fighting each other and like learning from each other at the same time, right? So like they're learning um, what it means to win or lose, you know, so just think about that. Uh, I think that's what this past life 
experience was about is is about um, really being able to learn and grow from your experiences instead of being stuck um, repeating the same things over and over again feeling like you're not able to commit to something um, that's what I've got and I think she also mentioned this search for some safe place some place to be protected and I feel like um, it being upside down for me just means this isn't necessarily like you're not getting it so much as um, I think it's maybe a little longer than you expected it to be. Um, it's just delayed, maybe, you know, a little bit more time. Um, but ultimately, I think these two challenges here, these cards related to the challenge, and these two cards here on the right here, I really just trying to encourage you to um, be receptive. Um, once again, you can learn from almost anything. Um, you know, just give it a shot. Amazing. I love that message so much. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning into this and Happy New Year. I'm hoping that you guys love and relate to these messages. Definitely leave some comments and especially leave comments for John. This is the first time he's come on the channel. Although he's a very experienced reader and he's read for others before. First time on YouTube. So definitely um, give him a hand and let him know how he did. And let me know um, what you guys resonated with the most. I always love getting feedback for these readings. Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading with John, um, let me know. You can email me at castleinthecloud01 at gmail.com. Um, he does have a little bit of availability right now um, for a couple readings and his prices are very similar to mine. So if you're wanting something different, if you've already gotten a reading from me and you want to try something new, then hit me up, castleinthecloud01 at gmail.com and just tell me you're interested in John. So thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate all of your support. Sending you love and light. Peace out.